morning. It's uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. And I'm on my way to the zoo. The menagerie at Jardin des Plantes. Might be a little bit windy right now and traffic-y. Let's give it a moment. But I've never been before. I've always wanted to go to the menagerie. Almost made it once with Richard. We ended up in the museum park. But it's time to get a little bit more of an animal experience. I'll be joining the Vitamin Well crew, or formerly Vitamin Well crew. Sarah's organized Saul and I into a little bit of a zoo tour here this morning. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I have high hopes. I expect to see a couple marsupials. That's all I've seen from the outside. And we'll see what else we find on the inside. Let's go. <laughs> Can't put my finger on it, but that feels like a lot of progress with the new scaffolding at least. It doesn't exactly engender confidence when the thing that you're chaining your bike to wobbles. Anyways, welcome to Jardin des Plantes. There's a paleontology museum, the Museum of Evolution, might be the same thing, I'm not 100% sure, but I think they're different. Botanical gardens and the menagerie. And the menagerie is what we're here for today. Like I said, I've seen it a little bit from the outside, not the inside. But let's take a moment while we're waiting for our friends to enjoy the Jardin des Plantes. I love this park. Also handy that I stumbled on the Entrée Principale, the main entrance, uh, just by walking around. Saved myself a little bit of time walking back because I totally thought it was on the other side. I texted her with my live location so she knows that I'm close. Almost. Colder. Colder. You dropped something. <laughs> yeah, you, you look really scary. Oh, is it, you brought an extra mask? I did not bring an extra mask. Oh, oh what's this? This is for my hair. Oh, okay. Hello. Hi. <laughs> and I have a bunch of fun facts about animals, so I'm really excited. <laughs> to did you see the ivy elephant? These guys are from uh, parts of the world I used to live in. They're so cute. I, did you ever what, see one? Uh, nope, <laughs> not in the wild. <laughs> what did you say about how old is this zoo? The zoo is the second oldest zoo in the world. Yeah. Uh, I think it's 17 something, late 1700s. Uh -huh. I have it written down somewhere, <laughs> but yes. And we have a bunch of facts ready for us. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his overalls. Hey buddy. Always gonna dance. I love that he's he's demonstrating the point. <laughs> this is me. Do you see what the sign says? That he's attacking? Oh. This guy yeah. proving the point well, with the it's sign it's is it's by far my favorite thing that we've seen so far. This is great. And we just started the tour. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. 
Oh, le bon. Oh. He's such a grumpy old man. Look at his grumpy face. See you next. We're about to see a white animal. What's it called? The white mammal. The uh, white mammal? Yeah, the white. <laughs> that <Bear>? me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You ready? Are you talking about snow leopards? Thank you. <laughs> This is so cool. Oh. Oh. Definitely is a cat. You can't decide if he wants in or out. That was a Jurassic Park line, nothing, nothing? No. Oh. <laughs> it's cool standing next to a bird like that that looks like it belongs to a different planet. Just being like that, it's a living thing. Like, I don't know, watching it check out uh, Solvable's 360 GoPro. It's fascinating. Same one. Cassowaries, yeah, same thing. Maybe they can't keep them together. Oh. They have separate cage, nah. This is just where he can run in circles. I bet you money that's what he does. It's like a vulture uh, and a seagull had a baby. Looks like we got here just in time for feeding the flamingos and the pigeons are going nuts for it. You're all funny. Hey, what's up, man? The Pumbas are my favorites. This has been a lot of fun. I don't know that I really need the mask because there's like no people around us, but it seemed like it was the respectful thing to do. Oh, fresh air is nice though. Anyway, he says next to the pig pen, literally, but it's been great. It's very small and a very, you know, heavily guided visit. Of course, there's still traffic because we are in Paris, so. And of course it happens right when I try to talk to the camera because life continues, but it's been great. It's really relaxing. It's nice to get out and I was telling Sarah, it's nice to get out and like see something. And while it's, you know, yeah, there's that unfortunate mixture of like seeing animals caged. It is also nice to be able to see so many animals and like it's inspiring to see animals from all over the world and think, oh man, we may not be able to travel, but at least we can imagine that we're hanging out with wallabies. This is a wallaby, right? What is this? It's a mini king, a ducky pandorunum. Aww. There he is, munching away on his lunch. Yeah, he had to work hard to get that lunch. Yeah, I'm just trying to appreciate the better parts of life right now. Wilford Brimley, ladies and gentlemen. Diabetes. Just in case you're not aware of who Wilford Brimley is and why I refer to that monkey as the diabetes monkey. Diabetes, 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 diabetes. 
Thank you, Wilford. Diabetes. 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 <laughs> so, you know, it's not, I'm not trying to be insensitive or anything. It's just immediately what I think of every, every time I see him. I don't, I don't know the monkey's medical status. It's, it's really not about that. It's, the, it's, it's more the cultural reference. It's a term of endearment. <laughs> Makes me think of them. It also like this makes me think of there's a game on CD-ROM back in the '90s called like the Amazon, where you had to go and you had to take pictures of animals that you saw while you're on the river and like explore. And oh, it was great. I don't know. Happy memories of fantasies that never really existed, but it was nice. It's good, good educational content. But getting to see these guys munch down on the glare is brutal, but. It's also cool because on the signs they tell you how endangered they are, where they fall on that scale. Seems like a really good way of keeping track of just how desperate things are for different animals. It's nice. Okay, that's not what I'm gonna focus on. <laughs> uh, he likes it. He's high. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to stop eating asparagus. <laughs> oh, that smell's gonna stay with me all day. <laughs> Of course he comes out when we're on the other side of the fencing. Ah, so cool. Anyways, this was lovely. Thanks for bringing me, Sarah. It was a pleasure. It's delightful. Definitely. Oh, what a what a weird world we live in right now. But it's nice to it's nice to get out, see a little bit of nature, sort of, enjoy some animals, mm. hang out with these guys. We have that to was, do the aquarium next. I could be sold. I can be sold on that. Hope you enjoyed this little stroll through the menagerie of the Jardin des Plantes here in Paris, a little garden zoo. Not a bad garden zoo either. Horses, look at that. While we're here, and I think I was out of focus that whole time. Sorry about that. About to run out of battery. And thanks to today's patron producer, Catherine. That's all I got, Catherine with a Y. Thank you so much uh, for being my patron producer today. And thanks to all my patrons for making this kind of stuff possible and sending me to the zoo. I hope you're having a wonderful day, wherever it is you are. Yeah, I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning for more wanders, probably less horses, but you never know. Yeah.